So at the end of the day, I still maintain the three biggest changes that will make a difference to your digestion is to not eat between meals, not drink with your meals, not to snack between meals, and to finish eating four to five hours before you go to bed. So for many of us who are just used to throwing down our food, you know, as long as it gets in the stomach and off we run off to do the next task, this method of eating that I'm sharing does take more time because one needs to be more relaxed, you need to chew more and mix the saliva with your food before you actually swallow and it's going to take more time. It all depends how badly you want to get rid of your heartburn. So food combining is another whole story. You know, some people, some fruits are okay to have with breakfast, whereas others, it's probably better to have them as a separate meal almost, or as a pre-meal. In other words, you have your fruit and then you wait half an hour to an hour and then you actually have your breakfast. Some people do that. It really all depends on you and your own body, you know. Of course, some people have found relief from GERD by putting some blocks or wood or bricks under the two top legs of your bed where your head is but that's not really a long-term solution you want to have you know if you go traveling that's not a solution you really want to sort out your gird and you won't have the gird if your stomach is empty so that number four is very important not to eat for four to five hours so that your stomach has time to empty before you actually lie down i would say that it's even better and healthier to skip that evening meal altogether Because when your body sleeps, it shuts down. It doesn't process the food in your stomach. And this is the problem because when we have that food in our stomach and we lie down, first of all, we're going to have indigestion. Second, we're going to have GERD. And thirdly, in the morning, we don't feel well rested because we don't feel clean. We can't have that water. So we start the day off with coffee or with with, um, not having a proper meal because we have undigested food still remaining in our stomach. This is the biggest deterrent that people have that's stopping them from drinking that large amounts of water when you wake up in the morning. So that acid reflux by taking antacids is really not a a solution because it's really stopping the digestion taking place. And so we're working against the body from actually emptying the stomach by taking antacids. But it's helping our throat because we, we have this liquid mass that's in our stomach and it's not digesting properly. So we need to do everything that we can to aid digestion and that means eating our meals as dry as possible and only saliva and natural liquids that are in the food to go down. Things like coffee, alcohol, caffeine, nicotine, these things relax the the valve at the lower esophageal sphincter, the LES which allow the reflux to come up the throat. That highly acidic material in our stomach is supposed to stay in the stomach and not come into the throat by that that valve. And that valve gets loosened by these toxic things that we're doing to our body. Number one, I don't drink with my meals. Nothing to drink. Number two, I don't eat between my meals. I do not snack. Number three, I rest my stomach. I take five hours from when I finish eating my meal to the time that I begin eating again. And this made a dramatic change to my life. So much so that it's motivated me to put this video out. And number four was allowing four to five hours from when I finish my meal in the evening to when I actually lie down at night. So do a brother a favor, subscribe and then go and try this. If, you, if nothing else is helping you, you've got nothing to lose, right? Why don't you try this and then come back and tell us in the comment section how this has helped you. I'd love to hear.